Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dave Surratt, Dean of the VCU School of Dentistry, and this is the next dental fill-in. And I'm back here again in the Phillips Institute. We did one earlier where we took a look at the development of the adult outpatient facility. And we want to give you an update on that and the progress of our dental spaces there. Uh, you can see now the hole in the ground that was there in the last video is now a building coming up out of the ground. And lots of activity. It's uh, fascinating to watch, and this is probably the best place in the dental school to take a look at it. So you can see that elevator shaft coming up out of the out of the ground from the parking deck area, and uh, soon there'll be steel going up, and it'll start to look like a, a real building pretty quickly here. So um, relative to our our dental clinics, it's be on the 8th and 9th floor. Uh, we have completed all the schematic design. I'm actually holding the design here of the, uh, you're looking at the 9th floor, which is predominantly pre-doctoral -doc dentistry, and this is the 8th floor, which is predominantly the uh, specialty uh, and grad programs. And so now we're in the phase known as developmental design, where you start looking at each individual room, what equipment needs to be in it, how the doors are going to swing, and those sorts of things. So actually this is kind of a fun part of it, because we're really kind of, you start to see uh, kind of visually what, what the space will look like. So uh, that's going along very well. Uh, we've had some administrative changes this summer. Uh, we have uh, merged the, the Department of Prosthodontics with the Department of General Practice. And uh, Dr. Mark Berry is now serving as the interim uh, department chair. Uh, a number of reasons for doing this. A lot of it has to do with the, the, the new way we're teaching restorative dentistry, particularly the incorporation of CAD CAM and digital dentistry, uh, the way we need to, to evaluate competency our students across the areas of restorative dentistry. We're looking at restructuring the operative dentistry and, fixed prosthodontics curriculum, all in line with the changing in technology and changing in, uh, in uh, the way dental education is taught. So I'm very pleased that Mark Berry uh, stepped up to the plate to um, take on this uh, thing. Anytime you do reorganization and merge groups together, there's always lots of tension and uh, uh, that has to be taken care of. Strategic planning, the School of Dentistry strategic plan was that we're working on now was created in 2013, technically was ended in 2018. Uh, we're gearing up that process again. We've actually actually completed um, the research portion of that and we have a new research strategic plan that we've just completed. And uh, this fall we're gonna develop the rest of the part that deals with our service and educational components uh, with a structured process and uh, uh, hopefully come out sometime after the first next year with what will be a new five-year strategic plan for the School of Dentistry. Uh, besides the AOF building with our adult, primarily adult dental clinics, the pediatric dental clinic, which will be up the street in the CHOR Pavilion, the Children's Hospital of Richmond Pavilion, on the sixth floor, that project design is complete. The uh, construction bids have gone out and very soon that will start under construction and uh, probably take about a year to complete uh, that project and then our pediatric dental program will be um, in the shore pavilion down the street on the sixth floor another building that's going to have that's fantastic it's been there for a number of years already it has windows and i think it'll be probably uh, one of the most impressive pediatric dental practices uh, not only in the state of virginia but maybe in the country and i want to congratulate all of our uh, recent graduates uh, from the class of class of uh, 2019 and our residency programs and we wish them very well and let me welcome our new people that are coming in our new residents are already here they started July 1 we have a, a new dental class and new dental hygiene class starting uh, in a couple weeks so I want to welcome them and finally um, uh, Dr. Frank McCrenna who's a retired faculty member who just retired in June from the School of Dentistry, but also served as the Vice President for Research for VCU for a number of years. And we want to congratulate him. We're very proud of Frank uh, being the uh, dental faculty member who then rose to the level of overseeing all research operations at the, school, at the university. It's really a, um, a feather in the cap of the School of Dentistry to have somebody like that. So Frank received the Presidential Medallion at uh, commencement recently to honor his service. He, 
He started in 1974 here as assistant professor in microbiology and uh, eventually became department chair of microbiology and uh, moved over to dentistry to actually start the Phillips Institute, which we're standing in right now, and then it went on to serve as the vice president for research. So again, congratulations to Frank, a good friend, supporter, always been helpful to me personally uh, as dean and helping us with our research program. And with that, I'll sign off. Uh, we'll put more information actually on the blog that you can uh, take a look at, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.